Happy Fat Thursday! Hi guys, how are you all doing? I know you people must be wondering why I have lots of donuts on top of my table today. And it is because today is Fat Thursday. In fact, that's what we are going to be looking at today. And we are going to be looking at the history of Fat Thursday and we are going to be seeing what happened on Fat Thursday and why the Polish people celebrate Fat Thursday. I can, as you can see, I'm already celebrating Fat Thursday. So if you would like this video, please go ahead and click on the like button. Go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel while we move. Fat Thursday is just getting started. So guys, I woke up this morning and got a message from my workplace that there was going to be a lot of donuts in the house. And I was like, what is happening? Why is there lots of donuts in the house? And then they sent us a message saying that today is Fat Thursday. And on Fat Thursday, everyone has to eat donuts. Like, wow. Why would everybody have to eat donuts on the, on the Thursday? And they call this Thursday Fat Thursday. So as I am always pushed to do some research, I have to go and find out what this Fat Thursday is all about and why we have to eat donuts on Fat Thursday. So stay with me while I read for, from Wikipedia now and we're going to have an understanding of what Fat Thursday is. So according to the Wikipedia, it said Fat Thursday is the Thursday before Lent, the last Thursday before Lent. It is a Christian feast celebrated after the carnival. And the Fat Thursday begins the last week of the carnival. In Poland and in the Catholic parts of Germany, according to tradition, overeating is allowed on this day. Overeating is allowed. Mm. Overeating. Today, you can overeat as much as you want. That's why it is called Fat Thursday. Let's go ahead. Since the date of Fat Thursday depends on the date of Easter, this day is a movable holiday. The next Thursday is the Thursday after Ash Wednesday and belongs to the period of Lent, during which Christians from religious for religious reasons are preparing for easter and during this period they observe fasting and abstinence from eating certain food so you understand now that fast thursday is the beginning of the period when you have to get fat in preparation for fasting you understand like this is so amazing and so funny because you can see here that it's like when a man wants to go in for fasting, maybe if you have been in the spiritual line, if you are a pastor or something like that, and you want to go in for fasting, you will be advised often to eat a lot, probably. But medically, I think it is wrong to eat a lot before you go into fasting because it's going to be a problem. In fact, they say stop eating. But here we have the tradition where you have to eat a lot and you have to eat things that are sugary and things that contain lots of calories so that these things will sustain you during the Lenten season. Let's go ahead. Say the most popular dishes are donuts or favoki, also called brushwood, brushwood or crust in some regions. In the past, people stuffed themselves with donuts, stuffed with bacons, bacons and meat, which were abundantly drunk with vodka. You understand? So, this is a period of eating. In fact, from today in Poland, we have entered the period of eating. Now, this Although there is, this is a period of eating, but this comes in a time where there is serious crisis in the region. There is a threat of war and there is a threat of 
of, uh, of the Third World War looming. But still, the Polish people still find it very interesting to celebrate. And as I am talking to you right now, I would, I'm just coming back from the shop. And you could see these scores of people standing in lines and lines. I mean, very long lines waiting for their donuts. Although it is not like a very public feast, it's a private feast. People will stay in their houses, just like me, who eat with their family, with their loved ones, with your girlfriend, with your boyfriend, with everybody who is dead to you. And me, I'll be eating mine at home today. And as you can see, I'm ready for Fat Thursday. Probably in my next video, which I'll, where I'll be talking about the, the war that is about to begin, and where we'll be taking an analysis of what is happening, you would see how fat I would have become. Because by the time I will finish consuming this, trust me, these are not the only things I have. Hmm. These are not the only. I have lots of celebrations going down in my house. And by the time we are done with the celebration, we are going to get absolutely fat because this is Fat Thursday. Thank you guys for watching the video. Thank you so much. This is an amazing feast in Poland. Believe me. And let me tell you one thing, the Polish people don't joke with their celebrations. They don't joke with anything that calls celebrations in Poland. Once it is that day, if it is fish day, everybody will eat fish. If it is water day, everybody will drink water. And if it is fat stores day, the donut day, everybody would eat lots of donuts. Thank you for watching once again. And I'm going to see you very shortly where I'll be analyzing the war that is going down in Poland and in, not in Poland now, but in Europe, and uh, we we'll also be taking a deep look at what is happening and the, and how can what is the way forward for those who are planning to come over to Europe. And also, we'll be looking at so many other beautiful things. Thank you for sticking to this time. Thank you for watching. I love you, and I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye bye. Have a nice day. Mwah.